Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. I'm going to do six 8 by 10 swipes. I've got a class coming up in two weeks and we're going to do embellishing acrylic pours. So I'm going to have the pours already painted and dried because some of these people are flying in from other states, some even from outside of the U.S. And so I'm going to just take a bunch of canvases that we can already have that are dried and then we're going to embellish it with some artwork. So I just want the background to be kind of neutral, a little bit grassy, leafy, naturey feeling because we'll most likely paint a flower or a butterfly or something like that. So I have Deco Art Paints and this is the Desert Turquoise. This is like a sky blue. I've got a little bit of their silver and pewter mixed together. Their festive green. This is the uh, peacock pearl mixed with the peacock teal. A tiny bit of copper, which I'll only probably put in one of the paintings. That'll be just enough for. I have the uh, cadmium yellow. The rich espresso. A little bit of metallic gold, but not a lot. It's not going to go in many either. And I've mixed a dark Hauser green and added black and Prussian blue to it to get it really dark. That's what I'm going to swipe with. Some of these colors have OGX in them, some don't. I don't really care if there's a lot of cells because the feature is going to be whatever artwork we paint over the pour. And I will put some white in maybe as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, trickle some of these colors on. And I'm just going to do it kind of randomly instead of across. I'm going to go up and down vertically. And for the ones that I don't have a lot of, I'll try to spread it out over six paintings. These are not all the prettiest colors, but like I said, the focus is going to be on the artwork and not necessarily the pour. So that's why I'm not so concerned that it's just like a really, really gorgeous swipe. And it may turn out just fine anyway. We shall see. I don't think I had any of the, oh, that was the color I used. I don't have any of the deeper color, the deeper desert turquoise. That's the one I'm missing. So this is like more than enough paint for this swipe, but I'm just trying to kind of distribute it out a little bit. Try to make sure your paints go kind of over the edges a bit. I'm going to trickle in some white. So you can tilt to the sides if you need to. You can go up or down. Either way. It's just really random. So I'm going to go across the top of the canvas with this almost black, dark green color. And then all I need is one little section of a damp paper towel. 
And what I like to do is I stretch it out between a couple of my fingers so it's nice and taut. But it is damp. It's not wet. It's just damp and it's not dry. Lay it down. And you pretty much keep the same pressure and parallel to the canvas pretty much the whole way. Let it go over the edge. And then I just touch the edges with my finger to get any color that hasn't gone over the edge. So it missed a little on the edge and I'm just kind of tapping that dark green a little bit. So it looks naturey, and that's kind of what I had in mind is I just wanted it to feel kind of naturey. Naturey, is that a word? I'm not sure. I like I said, OGX was only in a few of the colors, but you see the cells how they popped up. I can put heat on it. I'm just doing it on the area that it doesn't have the cells yet. Now when you see your paint smoking then you know I had a lump. That's why it was sticking up there. But if you see your paint smoking you know you've gotten too close to the, the paint. I can also let the paint drift down a bit to stretch my cells out a bit if you want to. That's totally up to you. Like I said, the goal is to get coverage for a background. It's not ne necessarily the end result that I'm aiming for. So I'm going to go these through these kind of quickly. I'm going to add just a little bit of water to this mixture. That just helps the dark grain break up a little easier if it's thinner. It still is breaking up plenty fine, but if you want to make your swipe paint a little thinner than the rest, it just helps it break apart to let those cell colors pop through. I'm just going to let this one stay the way it is.
So here's the sixth one. That even has a little bit of a linear look, which is totally fine. But I swiped this one twice. I had so much paint on it, which you don't need that much paint. So I swiped it a second time. And I have a boatload of paint on my table. So there's a ton. ton of paint right there. So I'm just letting it run together. And this will make some pretty skins when it dries, so I'm going to leave it be. My dirty table, I didn't even try to clean it because it's time for me to change the, the butcher paper underneath anyway. So that was six swipes off of just leftover paints and just trying to get a nature-y background to do artwork on after it dries. So they all pretty much look the same, just a little variation in each one. And I'll show maybe all six together when they're dried at the end of the video. So I hope you enjoyed it, and if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. And then if you would like to get notifications, click on the bell on the bottom right, and you'll get notifications when I post new videos. Also, check the links below the video where it says show more on your computer or the down arrow on your mobile device. And that gives you a link to Amazon recommendations and my Facebook group that has about 10,000 people in it. Wonderful, supportive artists all doing acrylic pouring and different kinds of art. It's a great place to encourage and lift each other up. You don't have to post your pictures, you know, if you want to just kind of stay in the background and see what everybody else is doing, you can do that there as well. You can feel comfortable to do whatever you'd like. I have a Thinkific platform called Embrace Your Creative Spirit where I teach those that want to learn how to paint with acrylics and brushes as a traditional way from the beginning to the end and I've got at least 10 paintings and I'll be adding two each month from this point on. Those classes are $35 or if you join the subscription you save a good amount of money. So check that out and uh, if you would like to do a one-time donation on PayPal it's greatly appreciated. I enjoy doing these videos and I look forward to bringing you new ones every time I can. So I hope you all have a great day and a great weekend coming up, and I will see you on the next video. Thank you so much. Hugs to all. Bye-bye.